Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines. Just giving you a quick missionary update. And uh, this past week, we totaled 107 salvations between our ministries. And a little bit lower than we normally have. Um, the rain was a bit of a factor the past week. It's uh, August is kind of the rainiest time of year during this part of the, the, the world. And um, also, uh, the lockdowns in some of our areas, um, a little bit more strict, so it was a little bit more difficult. But uh, let me just give you the sermons that are preached, and then I'll go on to kind of some updates that are going on here. But anyways, um, in terms of sermons that were preached, uh, we're continuing through Second Peter. We're going to be finishing up Second Peter uh, this Tuesday. Uh, we'll be moving on to a new book after that. Just finished First John on Sundays. Uh, we have a rotating schedule on Wednesdays of preachers. And um, then the other sermon, I uh, preached the Tao Te Ching versus the Bible. I compared the two most translated books ever. The Tao Te Ching is the um, book that is the basis for Taoism or Taoism, the philosophy coming out of China. It's the what the movie Star Wars is based on and the Tai Chi and those Chinese martial arts. So I kind of compared the two of them and just showed the differences. And they teach completely different things. I mean, the Tao Te Ching as a Bible-believing Christian to me sounds like a really dumb book. You know, just don't work hard and, uh, you know, you'll be very successful in life. Um, there is no such thing as sin. Good and bad are the exact same thing. There's really no difference between them. That's why you have the yin and the yang. You have the black within the white and the white within the black. And, of course, they don't believe in a creator God either. So it's this atheistic philosophy and it's very similar to the Big Bang Theory, what they teach with Taoism, even though this book was written thousands of years ago, even predating uh, the New Testament time and Jesus Christ. So um, anyways, I compared those two books, uh, and you can see that. Check that out on our YouTube. As for other updates that are going on, so um, outside of it being a really rainy time of year, uh, which is, is pretty normal, I guess I, kind of the new normal is lockdowns and We've been under quarantine in Metro Manila for this entire time. It's it never stopped in the Philippines, um, although their definition of the various quarantines have kind of changed and the rules have changed. But they decided to go back into ECQ, which is uh, the most strict version in uh, Metro Manila, and um, it's hard to tell what what the new regulations are going to be. And so they're worried about the Delta variant, I, I guess. Um, so it's kind of hard to see. So. I don't really have major updates. I don't know what's going on. I haven't really followed everything so closely, but just be in prayer for us that we'll be able to freely preach the gospel. Many people have asked me before, you know, if we're going to be able to do a missions trip. And, you know, I thought we were going to be able to do one this year, that things would calm down, but they never did. And, you know, who knows now as we're going back to the strictest lockdown. We're already in August. So trying to plan out a missions trip for next year, it's, it's just kind of like who knows what the world is going to be like. But anyways, we're still doing okay. Our attendances are fine. Our soul winning's good. But this is going to probably make it uh, more difficult for people to come to church. So it's supposed to be two weeks. We're hoping that it does not last longer. But just uh, continue, to be, continue to be in prayer for us. And anyways, thank you and God bless.